down from there. You didn't think that we'd forgotten about your birthday, did you? And here's your present. A piece of the moon. Looks like cheese to me. Well, that's because the moon is made of cheese. Cheese? That's preposterous. Everybody knows the moon is made of snow. Hmm? Made of rock? Oh, you're such a kidder. Well, looks like there's only one way to settle this one. Beak, for your birthday, we're going to the moon. I'll have to construct the ship and make the plans and... Uh, give me half an hour. Camo, I'm afraid you can't come with us this time. You know what your mother always tells me. Don't let Camo stay up too late. Don't let Camo eat junk food. And don't let Camo go to the moon. Maybe next time. Let's see what we can see. Now what is that? You gotta be kidding me. Hmm, they're gonna need help. Private B. Private B reporting, sir. It appears that our newfound friends are going on a little expedition. I want you to go along and see that they have a safe journey and don't get into any trouble. And take this in case of emergencies. Sir, you got it, sir. Well, here we are. Everybody out. And first things first, let's see if the moon is made of cheese. Well? Not even close. They're not too bright. Are they? Look at that, a meteor shower. Not now, Beak. What, what?
the Nish. Yes, it can. Hi, Stork. See, Bill? Is this the end of our feathered heroes? Who cares? I'm gonna take a nap. I wonder where they went. from a bee unless you ask him nicely first. And I guess we'd better be heading back home. Camo, your mom's gonna be very mad at me. You know, maybe we should have asked them for a ride back home. is stuck. We only have enough fuel for one trip. If I had fingernails, I'd be biting them right now. If someone gets out to move it, they won't be able to get back to the ship in time.
I'm sure I'll be able to entertain myself somehow. E. Like there's a happy ending after all. They're gonna need a towel. Oh yeah. Okay, hold it, hold it, stop, stop. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, listen, I am flattered, okay? I really am. But listen, do you guys have anything to eat around here? Well, you've got to see this. It appears the moon is made of ice cream. So we are going back, right? Well, we can't let all of that ice cream go to waste. Yes, yes, I suppose you're right. You got him
Hey, you! Ah, that's good stuff. Did you see the way I fooled Beak with that ice sculpture? Oh, that was a classic. We gotta do this more often. Well, y'all ready for another round? Come on, get on your feet, people! <laughs> you know, we're getting too good at this. We need a challenge. Hmm. Did somebody say a challenge? Well, how are my favorite chicken fowl doing today? I heard you needed a challenge, but this one might be too much for you. Ha ha ha. Are you kidding me? We can take whatever you can dish out. Not with this fight. Against you? No, not against me. Against my invention. Think you're up for it? Well, you go out there and get your snowblower ready, and we'll be out there in five minutes. Ha ha. S-s-s, you're on. Okay, people, you heard the second-rate scientist. Now get suited up. We're going to war. See what we can see. There's Stork. Oh, oh, wait a minute. There's Camo. But where's Beak? What's that? Uh oh. I think we're way in over our heads here. Here we go. Ah, good time. for finding a new tree? I.
Climbing. We'll be out of here by nightfall. Or not. We'll just stay down for a while and move at dawn.
there you are. Why are you two just sitting around? Huh? Well, I guess that wraps up another winter's adventure. What happened to the snowbots? Well, they went into the mountains for the summertime, but I'm sure we'll see them again next winter, wouldn't you say? <laughs> but until then, who knows what adventures spring has in store for us. Let's see what Beak's up to today. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hey, Beak! Beak! Come here, I need to talk to you. Ah, uh, love is in the air. Now come over here for a second, will you? I didn't mean to interrupt you, Beak, but Stork wanted me to come and find you. He said it was important. 
we may have trouble. Bill, come in. This is Stork. I have the package in sight, and I'm moving in for intercept. It looks like three of them. Someone must be controlling them from the ground. in for a visit. I wonder if he knows there's a front door. Hmm, I'm sorry about the roof, Beak. I didn't mean to make such a dramatic entrance. What were they after, Stork? This. I can't explain now, but... Oh, get down. Come on, we can't stay here. I'll explain on the way. when I was working on a prototype for my new invention. I created a design that could spin itself using gravity until it began to bend space itself. Finally, it would create a portal and you could travel through time. But one night before I could finish it, it was stolen. The problem was that there was never enough gravity pulling in the opposite direction to cause a chain reaction. So, in other words, it didn't work. Nope. That's why it doesn't make any sense that anybody would want to steal it. I have a good idea where they were going, so we have to pick up a friend first. Do you think I came in a little fast? You crashed, Stork. Hmm. Is anybody else concerned about the size of this shark circling us? Show Beak. What's the scoop on your new girlfriend? Yeah, that's right, I saw you. <laughs> you dog, you. It doesn't make any sense. He's always here. I wonder where he could be. Camo! Camo! He's got to be here somewhere. Hey, I see you up there. What do you say? I think he said he doesn't want to go on another stinking adventure. Oh, that's it. I'm coming up there. The robots that took it were heading in this direction, and the only thing out there is the old ruins. I hope you know another way to get there besides swimming and climbing.
<laughs> oh, this stinks. Okay, people, lights on. I think we should split up. See if we can find anything. Then we'll make camp. I don't know about all this. Uh, uh, um, uh-oh. Uh, uh, Stork? Big? That's a pretty scary invention. Look at mine, it's much better. Are you kidding me? Why, look at how fierce he is. Someday, I'm going to be the best inventor ever. No way, Jot. I'm the best inventor. And I bet you, by the time we're all grown up, I'll have an invention that's way better than any of yours. <laughs> See, I told you, your inventions never work. Stork? What are you doing awake? What's wrong? Oh, um, oh, it's nothing. Nothing. Stork! Someone took your invention! Oh, I was counting on them to steal it. It's a tracking device. The one they took was a decoy. There! The signal's coming from this direction. Let's go!
magnificent, isn't it? You don't know me, B, but your friend Stork and I go way back. It seems Stork has created a very interesting invention, one which I need. Imagine, B, that you were an inventor, working on a powerful invention that would take 50 years to complete. Why would you wait 50 years for it to be done when you could just step forward in time and bring, bring back, back the finished product, product with you. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Your friends are about to run into another one of my little creations. I planned a little surprise for them. Okay, Camo, peek out there and tell us what you see. Oh, come on, Camo, don't be such a baby. It's just a statue. Now go get him. You demand, Camo, or whatever you are. Hmm, you know, this kind of looks like a trap. I thought that's why we sent Camo. Boy, that thing just got up and left, didn't it? Yeah, showed the statue. Uh-oh. Hmm, well, looks like the worst is behind us. Do you have your running shoes on? Mm-hmm. Come on, Sea Bill, you're in a submarine. You have to have something to fight back with. Think of something. Hmm, you're right. Hold on. Now you stay in here. I have something I need to tend to. I found something, but we only have one shot. We're gonna have to make it count then. Just don't get too close to the edge. The edge of what? Oh. Thank you. 
Hang in there. We're going to think of a plan to come and get you. No, I'm going to fall. No, we'll think of something. Camo, climb down there. <gasps> I'll be okay. to talk to Krasfus. Is he here? Can I come in? Nice place you got here. Well, what do we have here? No time for him now. Paul! I'm not really sure yet. I'll know when I see it. So where are all of your friends? They're off on a rescue mission. One of our friends is in trouble. Oh, come on, Stork. What's going on? Well, Jacques, you've been hard at work, haven't you? Krasbus, what's going to happen tonight? Well, I think a comet's passing through, but not much else. Comet. He's going to use the comet's gravity. Krasvus, what's the quickest way to get into outer space?
Well, it's about time somebody came to rescue me. Did you hear that? There's something up there. Beak's not on the water, is he? be okay. Just let him rest for a while. We should be safe in this cave for a little while. We've got to get to the surface soon. There's not enough air in here for the three of us. Hmm. I wonder why this place seems so familiar. I've been here before. I've got to get them out of here. Camo, watch after B. I'll come back after I find a way out. Come on. 
Come out, come out wherever you are. about some hot sauce with that. <laughs> hey, I'm not finished with you. Oh, bad idea. Huh? Hey, it's you! You've grown! Hey guys, it's okay! Hop aboard! What's wrong with you? Now I'll, I'll show everybody, everybody who the inventor of the future, future is. There he is. Hurry. Stork. Welcome. Okay, Jacques, just give it up. It's two against one. Not necessarily, Stork. I brought company. Whoa, hey, come on, Jacques, you're bluffing. I know you. You wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, no. Beak, we've got to get you up there. I have an idea. something coming through the portal. time to be taking a nap. Oh, I had another flashback when me and Jacques were kids. I saw the blueprints for that giant robot. Hmm. It's possible that the radiation from Jacques' machine is causing you to temporarily jump through time. Stork, do you think that there's any way you could sabotage Jacques' blueprints? Well, I could try, but how would I make myself have another flashback? Oh. self-destruct but look geez stork could you have made that any bigger i can see it from here i was two years old what do you want from me 
Okay, Stork, you have one escape pod left. Fly over there and drop it on the button. Come on, Beak, you heard the man, let's go! Ah, uh, we can outrun that. Hold on to something. Okay, so now all we have to do is, is drop the escape pod on the button. Okay, well here we go. Oh, come on, hurry up! Done this a long time ago. Probably would have saved us a lot of trouble. Are you kidding me? If we settled our disputes like this, I'd win every time. Oh, come on, Jacques. The only thing you're worse at than playing cards is inventing things. Well, except for that last one. That was that was pretty good. Oh yeah. Up, up, up. Remember, that was his invention from the future. So technically, he hasn't even made it yet. Still counts. Well, all that really matters is that we're all still friends in the end. Now come on, let's finish this game. Dear friends, I won't be seeing you for a while. I think I'm going to take the sea monster out for a spin. It thinks I'm its mama, and that's okay with me. I went to explore the high seas and find out what became of my family after that fateful day when I was separated from them. It's been fun, and I'll see you all again soon. <laughs> <laughs>